Protests have broken out in Iran after the death of Mahsa Amini, a 22-year-old woman, in which Iranian women are publicly removing their hijabs and burning them. Ms. Amini was arrested by Iran's morality police for improperly donning the hijab because she had not completely covered her hair. According to reports, she died on Friday after falling into a coma following her arrest in Tehran earlier in the week, putting a spotlight on women's rights in Iran. Police rejected social media suspicions that she was beaten, saying she fell ill as she waited with other detained women. But on social media, a number of videos from the protest that shows demonstrators shouting anti-government slogans have gone viral. In some videos, Iranian forces are seen using tear gas to disperse the demonstrators. In a symbolic act of opposition to the severe Iranian rule requiring women over the age of seven to wear religious headscarves, some female protesters chopped off their hair and burned their hijabs. Iranian journalist and activist Masi Alinjar tweeted a video and said Iranian women show their anger by cutting their hair and burning their hijab to protest against the killing of Mahsa Amini by hijab police. From the age of seven, if we don't cover our hair, we won't be able to go to school or get a job. We are fed up with this gender apartheid regime. Masi Alinjad stated in another tweet, this is the real Iran. Security forces in Iran opened fire at peaceful protesters following the burial of Mahsa Amini. Several protesters have been injured. First, hijab police killed a 22-year-old girl and now using guns and tear gas against driving people. Social media users have been sharing videos of women who had removed their hijabs receiving what appears to be harsh punishment from morality police units. Do you really want to know how Iranian morality police killed Mahsa Amini 22-year-old women? Watch this video and do not allow anyone to normalize compulsory hijab and morality police. Under Iran's Sharia or Islamic law, women are obliged to cover their hair and wear long, loose, fitting clothes. Offenders face public rebuke, fines and arrest, but in recent months, activists have urged women to remove the, despite the hard lines rulers, crackdown or immoral behavior. That's all for now. Keep watching news site for further updates. Thank you.